mercy, your mercy, your favor upon my life. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. I want to continue with the same message about prayer. Prayer is the secret weapon for every believer because we do not fight against flesh and blood. We are fighting the invisible nature. And prayer is the only weapon that you can use to fight this battle. My voice, your voice, cannot defeat my enemy or your enemy. Because your real enemy, my real enemy, they are in the spirit. So using your physical strength, trying to fight your battle, you are just putting more problems where there is a problem already. So it is only prayer, your secret weapon. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, prayer is your secret weapon to fight your enemy. Yes. And I want to remind you that um, what I'm seeing now, I don't know, only Jesus that can help us. Me too, I need your prayer. Mm. Me, I need your prayer. The way you need <clears throat> my prayer. Me too, I need your You pray for me at the end of the service. Amen. Because the battle is getting tougher and tougher. Do you know the reason why? Because we are putting up something that can, you know, change the face of our family. Mm. It is automatically breakthrough. Once we put up that structure, it is automatic what? Breakthrough. The structure itself is automatic what? No argument. No one can argue with your, your life again or your business. I'm talking about the covenant house. Once we put up that one, it's going to be a, a, a automatic machine that will fight for you and your children and the children yet unborn. Amen. So I need your prayer. Let me take you back to the scripture. I quoted on when is this? Matthew 6, verse 5. Then we go to Matthew 26, verse 36. But let me read this one. This is Jesus now talking to his disciples. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogue and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their words in full. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. They like, I mean, they love to play standing in the synagogue and on the street corners to be seen by others. And the prayer is not to be seen by everyone. Prayer is your weapon. Now, if you are praying that people must know or see you that all oh, you are praying, then you are not praying. You are just talking to yourself. Prayer is the secret weapon. Standing here inside the church, there's nothing wrong. Voicing out, there's nothing wrong. But if you know inside you, 
You are praying because you want this one to hear you or see you that you are praying. Then that one is a long prayer. It's not a, 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 a weapon. It is just a sound. Jesus said, truly I tell you, they have received their rewards in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father sees what is done in the secret. Prayer is a secret weapon. Before you see me standing here, I have already prayed. You see me touching people without opening my mouth. The prayer is already burning like fire inside me. So God knows what is inside your heart. The only thing that can save your life or destroy your life, it is something that you keep inside your heart. Are you there? The only thing that can destroy your life or save your life, I will explain this. It is something that you keep where? Inside your heart. If you keep the Holy Spirit inside your heart through the word, your life is saved. If you keep the wrong things inside your heart, you are not saved. In fact, your life is in danger. Even a witch to attack you or a demon will use what you are calling inside your body. And what is prayer? We learn how to pray through the word of God. Simply means prayer is the word of God. Without the word of God inside you, whether you are talking or not talking, you are not praying. It is the word that can produce prayer. Because human beings doesn't know how to pray. We are full of problems. It is only the word in me that can pray. Prayer is the language from above. Prayer is not English. Prayer is not Bemba or any other language. It is the divine language interpreted into your language that you can understand for you to pray. Simply means prayer come by the Holy Spirit. Sometimes we pray according to our situation. The secret you are keeping, if it is not prayer inside you, it is dangerous to your life. God sees what's inside your heart. And no, no one, can you insult anyone inside the church? No, you cannot. But inside your heart, you can insult. You cannot sleep with a woman or a man inside the church and people are watching. But inside your heart, you can do that. Which is dangerous. It is only prayer that can save your life because you keep nothing wrong inside your heart because 24-7 you are praying. You are praying. You are praying. If truly you are such a person inside your heart, you have no time to gossip. You have no time to be angry. You have no time to fight anyone physically. Because you are busy fighting the real battle through your prayer. So prayer is the secret weapon. When I say prayer is a secret weapon, let me say this. Devil doesn't understand the spiritual language from above. He can understand any language from any human beings. Maybe you don't know this. Where God is involved, Satan atonfwa but ngamule pepa le satamule landa na kwa satana alo mfa fionse fio mule landa. This is why I'm saying prayer is the secret weapon to fight Satan. When you are praying spiritually and God is involved, Satan will be blind and his demons. They will be deaf. They cannot hear you. They will see you standing there and they will start asking questions. Fish are let for you. Suddenly, fire will start now coming down. So, ah, 
It's like he, he is talking with this man. Let's go. Leave him. Leave that woman. Why? They don't know your secret. The way you keep your money as a secret. Is there anyone here who can share your secret pin? Kwa county, ya kubanki kumyen. Landeni. To allow bo mbana mwabi fweta mwala fumana musebisi. Mwala mwafi kumwana mwana message. Tin, tin, tin. You have withdrawn so much. Tin, tin, tin. Landeni pin. It is a secret. That is your financial secret. Same, same to your spiritual life. Prayer is your secret weapon to fight the devil. Jesus used this life to fight the world. I mean the devil himself. Let's go to uh, 26 because I was just, you know, thinking of letting you know that this is the scripture I quoted. Now, before I leave this one, let's go to Matthew 26, verse 36. But let me add one or two things. The Bible says in verse 7, and when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many what? Words. Many words does not qualify one to be a spiritual person. No. It is what you carry inside your heart. People pretend to be like they are good people. They love you. What they are saying inside you, what you cannot say in the presence of that person, and you go somewhere and you start saying it, that is the secret thing that can destroy your life. Because you are not genuine inside your heart. You are hypocrites inside your heart. I've been saying this. One hour, two hours, the spirit of God is not involved. And then you are sweating. You go there, you come back. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. If God is not involved in that, yeah, 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 you'll be sweating. And because of that sweating, you feel like you are, you are lighter. It is when the spirit of God is involved, that prayer becomes your secret weapon. Even spiritually, when you are sleeping, you see yourself playing the same prayer. Fighting your enemy, chasing them. Let's go to Matthew 26. This is verse 36. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. The life of Jesus was full of prayer. His weapon against Satan was prayer. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebed along with him. And he began to be solof and troubled. Listen to this. He began to be solof and troubled. If the situation is like this, your heart is full of sorrow. You are troubled. You cannot feel peace in the flesh. But inside his heart, the secret weapon was at work against that soul of and the troubled things within his flesh. Listen to 38. Then he said to them, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep Watch with me. He told them, stay here and keep watch with me. He's going where? Listen to 39 again. Going a little further, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, my father, if it is possible, May this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, 
but as your will. That is prayer. From where? From the heart. Jesus discovered the problem ahead, you know, of him. He said, this is now, my life is in danger. No one can save me in this situation. And it will be a very painful thing for anyone to encounter. He could not explain this to his disciples. He had to tell them, sit here. Let me go over there. The Bible says that he fought his face down and prayed to his father. He never complained about what he's about to encounter. He knew that my secret weapon in this situation is prayer. How? When you pray, you are in pain. You are sick. And God answered you that this is what is going to happen. You are in pain. But God has already you know, told you that this is what is going to happen. Even in the way you will be crying will not be like the way you were crying before. Because you know the outcome. That is the way every child of God must live. When you pray, you know the reason why you are facing what you are facing. You know the end of that pain. You know the outcome of that interviews. Before even you are attending the interviews, you know the outcome. You will become. You will not be panicking. You are busy inside your heart, Father. Only you. Only you, Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of... In fact, prayer is not, you know, big words. No. The power of prayer is the pure of your heart and the clear conscience. You are holding nothing against anyone. You hate no one. You destroy no one. Your heart is pure. Your conscience is clear. Just one word. Thank you, Father. Because the Bible says that he knows everything. Before even you ask him, God knows what you need. If you go back to that book of Matthew 5, I mean 6, verse 5. He knows everything. The situation of our Lord and Savior was known to his father. This is why Jesus said, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as your will. And God answered him, no, you will face this cup. I hope you, are, you, you understand this. He was scared or afraid of this. But the father said, no, you will face this one. I will not take away from you. You will face it. Your reason and your purpose must be fulfilled through this cup. Then Jesus now prepared himself to face this cup. He was ready to be beaten and killed. Inside his, his heart, there was peace. The flesh was troubled, but the heart was full of what? Peace. The pain was in the flesh. If it is your will, the father said, yes, it is my will. They will beat you. They will kill you. He said, thank you, father. He was praying every second, every minute. Every hour. And Jesus never opened his mouth to shout, Hey, Father in heaven, hey, see these people, see this criminal. I came to rescue them. They are now mistreating. No. He'll just say, Father, thank you. I know that you will always answer me. Simple. Simple. Tale panga step. Mm -mm. Sometimes I have a punch of karma, not if it's panga must step. After Kulunga Kwakaripa, Malale Kanumba, Malamba. At the end of the day, you receive nothing. You know, people of God, Nandineka and the paper, Elon in Dolation at all. So if you took paper for God to lay paper, Lumbra, yes, to tell him, which of Fichitikila. 
Wacha tafitia chani. Nga wamulu mbula tamuli in communication, nothing will change. You will finish your prayer, you will see nothing. Not until when God is what? Is involved. And that prayer that can bring his presence down is from the pure heart and the clear conscience. Where you, you, you hold nothing against anyone. Tamula ndefi vipawa nenu. Tamu imonati wa so special. Tamu wako atobu fi. Mulikui sati yondi kubu inga. Mulikui sati yondi uku. Kashi mulete njuka. God cannot answer your prayer. Hmm? Kula bafi na wapepa wali kuma pepo. Mulikui? Apa. <laughs> Ndiye, nji minine pa mse wape ni wale pange chonga shinga mani wale pepa. Pana ena wali kuma pepo. Talefua febe shwe wala talikui sa. Who can answer your prayer? Just say it. No, we are praying. Simple. Ubu finda buwa ingila napo taufuri oku bepati wa chitashani. Tu wabepa. Umuntu wa prayer fita kwa tenshita ya bufie. Because nshita wansi alanda na nani? Na ngufio lenda sole sala kwa tino wifumi na padia. Koneke la hapa. Wakoneka. No, na chanda tupiti la hata wotia ntubomfi hapa. Padia fi achipano kuchitika po nifimbi. Wakoneka. Kwa isanga basi, you are meditating. Kuli basi yo batele, ati ibasi le loifle ya ipa ya bantu. Kwa isanga you are meditating. Kufika pepa liya, eh, mushelewe ni mjumuntunga. Umu, oh, but brother, one seat for the Holy Spirit, don't enter. Mm. Wait for another bus. <coughs> no, nice. Eh, kuya mkuu shita menshi. Nechila kacha menshi, chai tasha. Chai sapara peni. Ulesa mkuu wela. I, I mwendi fye neka, tino na isula. Sometimes kuku kani na fe, tai tai da isula no ku isula, ah na isula. Ule wa wa apa pe no muntu masat. Oh, he said, he said, kuman shen. Ah, na chan that ne no that wachi shwa ita pali abantu apa. Before you know it, disaster. Every time, I mean every second, every minute, every hour, as a child of God, be prayerful. Keep on praying. Prayer is not open in your mouth. No, it is here. This is what saved your Savior. Praise the Lord. 40. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter. 41. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Take note of this. Watch and what? So that you will not fall what? Meaning, as long as you are not using your secret weapon as a prayer, it is possible that you fall under the trap of your enemy. That is temptation. What is temptation? Temptation could be money, beer, women, men. Anything you may, you know, that this is evil. Watch and pray so that you not fall into what? Temptation. As long as you are not prayerful, you fall under that temptation. I'm telling you the truth, people of God. It is only when you keep on praying inside your heart. Nothing that can, you know, bring you down. You are praying. You are praying. You receive a message from a lady, a beautiful lady. I love you. Hmm? How are you doing? Hey. You look at the message, say, thank you. I'm very fine. How are you doing? <laughs> Can I call you a video call? Uh, why not? Hmm? Video call. Kuso kola kona couple house. Video call now. Why are you requesting for a video call? If the spirit of God is in control, you not fall into that temptation. Uh -huh. Call me, video call. Huh? Ah. <laughs> How are you? 
hey, 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 you, you, you look nice. <laughs> so you are inside the house. <laughs> you are sitting on the bed. Yeah. Is it a queen size or king size? <laughs> and then the lady will answer you to say, come and see by yourself if it is queen or king. Uh-huh. Because you are not, you're not praying. Jesus said, watch and what? You are busy laughing. <laughs> is it queen or king size? You are not praying. And this woman is loaded with demons. Before you know it, no, I, 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 I am coming. And then Sunday you are dancing. You are a child. Which child of God? Which child of God? Jesus said, watch and pray. Even when you are walking, you need to continue what? Praying. Working. Some of you where you are working is full of men and women. And you are not praying. There are men who are not married. There are women who are not married. There are hunters of men or women who are hunting. Whichever animal that to come across their way, they will grab it. And you are not praying. Tell me how you survived that one. Tell me how you survive that one. Because as long as they are hunters where you are, they will hunt you down. This is why Jesus said, watch and pray. Your secret weapon to defeat Satan and his demons is prayer. Can I call you a video call for what? No, this one is just okay. If you are married, just say, okay, let me... Uh, use my wife is lying to call you a video call. She will dress well, well. Mm -hmm. But with your phone, she will be working. See? 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 With the, how do you call this one, black one? The one which is very tight. The one you love. Cycling. Uh -huh. She will be walking all over the bedroom with cycling. Uh, with the uh, a, a short what? A, a short, how do you call this one? Huh? Uh, you I can't hear you. Okay, crop top. <laughs> eh? Eh? Uh, what, what about the one which ends here? Eh? How do you call this one? Eh? Uh -huh. I, 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 that was the word I was looking for. The one which put everything in order. So that, <laughs> isn't that the man who is here and say, ah, I am on my way now coming to your place. Jesus said, watch and pray. It's a serious ish people of God. This is October. We are getting closer to the end of the year. Know for sure that Satan is at work. He will use all these things that you know can... Hook your mind. Before you know it, you are under the trap of your enemy. Prayer is your secret. You are in shop light, you are praying. You are in the bus, you are driving. You are, they are, sometimes you see a woman or a man standing, you know, asking you for a lift. You don't know whether you are carrying a satanist, an agent of the devil or not. And you are not praying, you carry them. You are carrying problem. Watch and eat so that you will not fall into what? So prayer is your secret word. Is your machine gun that can bring down your enemy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, the Bible says that the flesh is weak. The spirit is what? So when you are praying, you are in the spirit. You make the weak flesh to be what? Strong. It is not the flesh that can make the spirit strong. It is the spirit that can make the flesh what? Strong. Because the Bible says that the flesh, I mean the spirit is willing, but the flesh is what? It's weak. So if you depend on this flesh, you are lost. We pray 24-7. Jesus knew that one of my disciples who betray me through what? Prayer. He was in constant communication with the Father in heaven. How do you know your enemy? How do you know those who are planning evil things? 
How do you know those who are betraying you? It is through prayer. If you continue pray, look at the TV there. You'll be sleeping, then the, the TV will come like this one in your dream. You'll be watching and listening to what people are saying. If you see them here, they will tell you another story. But the original story is already where? Here. You just look at them and say, okay, thank you. No one can fight the truth and win what? The battle. So, ngamulenda yonse, meditate. If you mwike na mwche jisoba, mwune tontonga nyafye, fimbi vifita fili na part of the service. You are busy thinking about this. There are others thinking about business, money, a marriage, children. Balasa Dabuafe, a lesson par message, Yapolo Batum Canombolo Babuela, Taparicho Bassetere. Even when you are talking to someone who is a Satanist, you can only identify that person that is a Satanist through prayer. Even in business, when someone is trying to crook you, you are discussing business. You are discussing what? Business. You are busy. Your mouth is talking to that person. Your heart is busy praying. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Whichever way that will come from the Holy Spirit, if it is Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, or take more of me, give me more of you, take more of me. Ah, before you know it, the Spirit of God will minister to say, don't even give this person any coin. Is lying or she's lying. It's a crook. There's nothing like that. Okay. No. Now for chap. It is only the spirit that can sustain your life through your prayer. So prayer is your secret what? Not your voice to a zero one muaima. Hey, hey. Number bande fu andante. Much say thing of only. Yami busha. Not to mpash. Ndefu andande nombapa. Yes, what you call a muri nengam lay and gada. Munsazro and the Rona Midabuisha Mwendo Shimwe. They are laughing at you. They know that what you are saying is not even there in the spirit. You are in the flesh. You are a weak person. When you finish that, you know, uh, noise, they will give you a very deep sleep. So that they can feed you and deal with you well, well. You finish uh, insulting. Because you cannot insult when you are praying. Our secret lies in our heart. Whether you are voicing out or not voicing out. In fact, as a child of God, there's no need for you to wake up in the night to start warning people with your voice. You can lie down inside your house, your bedroom, without opening your mouth. Not even your children will hear you, but you are busy fighting. You are in a serious battle, and the Spirit of God is there backing you to bring down all your enemies. You wake up quietly. Even those who are disturbing you when you wake up in the morning, you see them, you greet them. Ah, mabuka shan mkwai. Eh, eh, mkwai. Nendo shkudabwa. Kuch tashan. Kwambo kwibushe muntu yunangu nichinshi. So prayer is your secret what? Stop complaining. Young girls, ladies, stop complaining. Disappointment, limitation. Use your secret what? Weapon to fight your enemy. Victory is very close to you. Amen. Thank you. God bless you.